Mr. Zelensky has uh, put out a Twitter a note uh, making it very clear that his intelligence officers have identified bombs uh, on the roof of the Zaporizhia um, nuclear power station planted there by Russian forces. No doubt the same sort of bombs that were placed on the Hakova Dam, uh, which exploded and wreaked havoc around the um, area in southern Ukraine uh, at the gateway of Crimea. And it, it sort of confirms that the hydroelectric, hydroelectric power station, that the, um, that the, the dam um, was clearly a, an act of sabotage by the Russian invaders. And it's shocking because should the Russians um, ignite those bombs on the Zaporizhia nuclear power station, uh, radiation is something which affects us all. Radiation is something that will be unleashed. Uh, it will damage our environment further. And it will not only affect Ukraine, it will also affect Russia. It's something that people need to call out. And, uh, and, and, and we need to say so clearly to Putin and those people in the Kremlin that this war needs to stop. And we need to think about the aftermath of this war. I was asked the other day, did I think it would be a good idea for the Kremlin to be painted white? Uh, I think my, my, my immediate response was no. Uh, the Kremlin walls were built by uh, an Italian architect of great competence. And they were, they were red then, they should still be red. Um, and the, the, the architect was so great that he had his eyes um, gouged out lest he make anything so great in the future for anybody else. So the sacrifice was enormous. Uh, I think on reflection, the idea of the Kremlin being painted white, the idea of an entirely new image for the Kremlin is the right one, is the right one. And a, a, a white Kremlin would be a Kremlin dedicated to peace. And I think it's right. White is right. And the aftermath of Putin must be an aftermath of peace and a focus on peace and a focus on responsibility. And from the seat of power in that white fortress, there must be nobility and honor and care for not only the peoples of Russia, but also the people uh, around the world um, whom Russia has threatened. Because this is no longer an attack on Ukraine. This is an attack on everybody. And the rhetoric which, the, the rhetoric and the propaganda which Putin tries to put out is that Russia is under attack from NATO, from the Western powers. No, Russia is attacking the world. And should Russia unleash a nuclear folly, which it has every intention of doing by placing bombs around the Zaporizhia nuclear power station, then it is attacking the world. And that must not stand.